Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making lip balms by using these super cute macaron containers here that I got from Amazon and I will put the link down in the description box below and also I received this fancy spoon scale if you want to call it that way from a very good friend of mine and I wanted to see whether or not it would work out for such a project. So I haven't opened it yet, I wanted to take you along with me, so it comes with an instruction booklet. In different languages and it looks um, quite stable and sturdy. It has the batteries that come along. So we're gonna pop those in first and then switch it on. There is also a measurement mark for volume and then you have the scale so can you, you can use both, which is kind of cool. Now I want to see if this is a precise measurement compared to a usual scale. So I'm gonna pop this macaron in here and then see if it corresponds to the scale and yes it does. If you don't have a scale it's absolutely not a problem. There are some measuring spoons that you can find and they will tell you how much a teaspoon or a tablespoon is and so forth. And of course it is more exact to measure it out by weight than by volume. Also one thing that I would really recommend, you have different kind of applications that you can find to, for your phone, like mobile applications, where you can convert any type of unit in another system. Let's say you want to know how much 30 um, degree Celsius is and you can convert it into Fahrenheit or in our case here you want to know how much a US teaspoon is in milliliters or grams then you can just put in the figure that you want to find out and then you have a conversion. Also like a cup in the US often cups are used we never know how much it is and here you can find out how much milliliters it would be and you have all types of units that you can convert so that's very practical the one i'm using it's called units and it comes for free the first thing that i'm going to do here is to prepare all the containers opened on a tray I like to use a tray because, or a cutting board like here because it is very practical whenever you need your space for something else then you can easily and comfortably remove it so you can use your countertop and then by using a kitchen roll you give it a spritz with rubbing alcohol and you wipe all the containers and of course all the lids and that way you know that your containers are sanitized. Moving on to the ingredients that we will need for this recipe here. The first ingredient and the main ingredient is beeswax. This one here is refined beeswax. It means there is no color and no typical honey scent to it. I like to use this type here because it is neutral. So you can add whatever fragrance you like but of course you can also use the unrefined one, as particularly if you want to make like a honey type of fragranced lip balm. Beeswax is perhaps the most essential ingredient in our lip balms. This is because it contains natural moisturizers that lock in moisture from the air and help keep the skin looking firm and plump. So I'm measuring out 45 grams of beeswax I need to do it in two steps. 
because the measuring spoon doesn't hold in that kind of quantity. Of course, the measuring spoon is ideal if you are making small batches. Our next ingredient is coconut oil and it comes in solid form, as you can see here. Depending on your climate, of course, in a very hot climate, then it might be in liquid form. For the measuring spoon, it doesn't matter if it is liquid or in solid form, but if you are using a measuring spoon that doesn't have a scale in it, then of course you need to melt it down first so you can measure it out. So we are going to need 40 grams of coconut oil. And here I also need to weigh it out in two steps because um, the spoon doesn't hold the entire quantity. Coconut oil helps retain moisture within the skin and prevents it from drying out and protects cracked lips from infections. So that's a very good ingredient to have. Want to be as precise as possible. And then we're gonna add the coconut oil to the beeswax. Our next ingredient is sweet almond oil and we need 30 grams. Sweet almond oil contains vitamins E and helps to rejuvenate your lips and prevents chapped lips and keeps them moisturized. Also a very nice ingredient to have. By the way, you will find the recipe down in the description box below. to add the sweet almond oil to the mixture. The last oil that we're going to add is avocado oil. This one is refined. Again, here there is no color, which makes it ideal for a neutral kind of lip balm. And we're gonna need 10 grams. Avocado oil is skin softening. Avocado oil contains a substance called sterolin, which helps to give the lips a supple feeling, which is why it is ideal in lip care. So we're gonna add that one to the mixture as well. And now I'm gonna put the entire mixture into a double boiler. I like a double boiler because it's a gentle kind of heating method. You can of course also use a microwave. Just make sure you're using short increments so you don't overheat your mixture. The next step is to add the flavor oil to the mixture. I'm using a flavor oil that's specifically designed for lip balm products or lip care products. You need to find out with your supplier whether or not the fragrance is also lip safe. That's really important. And we wanna give it a very good mix just to make sure that the fragrance or flavor oil is really well incorporated into the oils and then we grab our tray with the little containers and then we are ready for the pour. The flavor oil that I'm using here is called Apple Tart and it comes from a company in the UK called Saint Perfect. I absolutely love it and I think it's ideal for the fall and winter season. By the way, I'm making these lip balms for an advent calendar that you're going to see very soon here on my channel as well, so stay tuned. So I'm just gonna fill all the containers. And if you see that your beeswax solidifies on the sides or the walls of your container, you can just take a heat gun and melt it down again so you can continue to pour 
very comfortably. And once you have poured the lip balms, the only thing left to do is to wait for them to completely harden and solidify. This will not take a long time since it is a small quantity, but you want to make sure that they are completely cool to the touch before you put a lid on it. Which is what I'm going to do now. Doesn't it look cute? I think it's a great gift idea. And I like the fact that they come in different colors when you order them from Amazon. And here they are. Aren't these super cute? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you around very soon for another one. And in the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye.